those of you who've been following me for a little while, you'll know that I did a vlog about bum and kittens from birth to new homes. I am hoping to do the same for Persians. And this is my golden Persian girl, Gabby. She's due a litter in about 10 days time. And I'm hoping to also follow her and her litter's progress from birth to 13 weeks when those kittens go to their new homes. Um, first of all, I have trimmed her tummy, the hair, just to allow the kittens better access to the nipples because Gabby, being Persian, has a huge amount of fur there. So as you can see, I've trimmed the fur. I haven't taken it right back to the skin because kittens like to be able to look through fur. It's like an instinct, they, they'll search through fur to find those nipples. So I always leave a small amount of fur there. And of course it will have grown slightly between now and the time that she actually gives birth. It's now time to put up a pen for Gabby to give birth in. Unfortunately, try as I might, I have not been able to find a cardboard box of the correct size. So I'm going to be using this sort of piece of cardboard sheeting to line the base of the pen. So I'll put this up now and uh, see how we get on. Okay, so everything's done now. Um, I've placed the puppy pads in and I've set up my camera. So that's working and it means I can watch her and I can keep checking on her at night because it's got night vision and I can see what's going on without disturbing her. And everything is basically ready now for when she decides to have these kittens. So I always go through my kittening kit a few days before kittens are expected just to make sure that everything's here and everything's on hand. So these are the things that I generally have in my kit. These bits are for the birth itself. So I've got sterilizing tablets there, which I use scissors. This is actually dental tape. This is what I use to tie off the cords before I cut them. Not all breeders do it that way. Some breeders tear the cord. I prefer to tie and cut. That's just how I've always done it. This funny looking thing here, this is a aspiration bulb. So if the kitten is struggling to breathe because it's got some fluid caught in its mouth or in its nose, or its throat, you can just pop that in uh, or against the nostrils and gently draw the mucus or fluid out, allowing the kitten to be able to breathe properly. So that's a very useful thing to have. This is just a spray that I use on the cords to help dry them up. And this, this is the sort of bits of equipment we hope we never have to use. This here, this is powdered kitten milk replacement powder. There's a bottle here that you can use for feeding. I have to say I've never had a great deal of luck with using those bottles. So I always prefer to use syringes with a nipple on. Kittens are very, very fragile. They fail very easily. So it's best to be prepared to have stuff on hand so that you can act immediately without needing to go to the vet or try and buy in supplies which would take a few days to come because frankly it'll probably be far too late. Now we're four days away from Gabby giving birth and it's at this time that I like to weigh the Queen um, so I can try and guess how many kittens she might be having. I don't know quite when I first came up with this idea but I've been doing it for quite a long time and on the whole, I would say that it is pretty accurate. I worked out for my two particular breeds, the Burman and of course the Persian, that a newborn kitten with all the associated membranes and water weighs about 200 grams. I weigh the queen just before she gives birth. And because I weigh my cats every month anyway, I know what the average non-pregnant weight is for each individual queen. And then from there, I share the figure by 200 in order to work out roughly how many kittens the queen will be carrying. 
Now in this case, there's about four and a half kittens. I don't think there's anything like that number of kittens in there. She is fairly large, but I, I, there's certainly not five kittens worth. You do need to take the figure with other few checks. One of those checks is body score. Now body score is where you see how fat or how thin your cat is. If she's very fat, for example, if she's done well over the pregnancy and she's put a lot of weight on herself, it will skew the result. Same if she hasn't put a lot of weight on herself. Now to body score, what you need to do is you, you feel the ribs and you basically feel how much fat is on there. And she's fairly well covered. So I think we can safely say that there's definitely not the fifth kitten. It's possible there's four there, but I don't know. I just feel, I think I'd be slightly surprised if there were, but we shall see. 